good luck, because it's locked out, and all the information's erased. Oh, no! I guess you caught us all! What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Scar's ghost! Sorry, we don't know nothing. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. That's the one that only hangs out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king, hmm? Why, you must be a truly inspiring leader by now. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. Where are you going? Ah, Simba, running away as always. Simba! <laughs> 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 Gorge, Rafiki was right. You mean Simba's still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm. We should start by talking to Simba some more. Let's head back to the Pride Lands. Hmm. All right, back to the Pride Lands. But uh, yeah, whoever stole my phone, uh, yeah. Everything's erased, and you're locked out of it, and it's listed with the serial number as it's stolen, so you can't really do anything. Like, it's 2015. Who the fuck steals phones anymore when we can do this shit, like, from a computer? I can understand if it's like a flip phone or something. It's like, oh, damn. But now you... There's so much shit, you can't... No, there's no point. I don't know what these motherfuckers are talking about. Uh, to face his fears, he must go somewhere where the only thing to think of is what to do. Not what others think of him. Why didn't you just say so? Rafiki, stop with that cryptic shit, my nigga. But where's Simba now? Hey, I know. He's at the Oasis. It's our favorite hangout. Got it. Let's check it out. I'll lead the way. Oh, no, you won't. Simba will smell you coming a mile away. And if he's smart, he'll run for the hills. Oh. Right, damn, Puma stank. Um, okay, so we gotta head over there. What else is going on? Oh, I went and seen Insidious 3. The, um. Get your ass out of here, dude. You're dead. You're fucking dead, man. You're fucking dead, Scar. Yeah. I'm just welling on these heartlesses because I need to level up. Getting close to the end game. Not too much longer anyway. Thank god. I know you guys are probably like, damn, Jazz, when are you going to finish Game Hearts? Well, a couple people have asked me. I'm just like, I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I don't know. Is this the right way? Uh, sure. But, um, anyway. Yeah, that's coming soon. Back to what I was saying. I, um... I seen Insidious 3 the other day. You know, it wasn't that bad. It might be the scariest one out of all of them. Which, I mean, they're not all... None of them are necessarily that scary. Doesn't mean the dude from the first one looked like fucking... The villain was like Darth Maul from Star Wars, so that kind of was like, alright. The only thing that I will actually say was scary is probably they had good sound cues. And what I mean by that is they knew like when to like shock you with a sudden sound of stuff and when to like have it like real quiet so that it makes you on edge. They're really good at that. Like, even the opening credits freaked me out. Like, and if any of you have seen, um, Insidious, you know that, like that, that riff that they, they, uh, play at the fucking beginning. That shit always gets me, because it's just like a loud, like, I don't know what instrument that is. Violin, maybe? I don't know. But it's like, and like, that, that shit, 
It just catches you off guard. I hate that shit. But, um... Yeah, it's a pretty good flick. Probably the scariest one. Had a lot of scares. Although there was times where they took away from the, the scare factor for, like, cheap laughs. And they, there were some parts in it that was just so corny I couldn't even deal with it. But, I don't know. Insidious, Insidious has a, woo, Donald, thank you. Insidious has a good concept to it. Like, the whole, like, being able to see spirits and astral projection and stuff like that and, like, bringing them with you. That's kind of cool, because, like, to be honest with you, the whole, the whole possession found footage shit is getting really annoying. You know? Like, I'm sorry. Paranormal Activity did that one time. And then everyone was just like, dude, found footage is the fucking move. And like, don't get me wrong, some movies do it good, I guess, but it's just like, is every scary movie gonna be a found footage thing? How many lost footage shit is out there, man? Like, I'm tired of the found footage. So, I appreciate a movie that just is scary in the sense that, yes, you know, it's not... You know, they're not taking that extra step to try to be realistic or whatever. But they're, um, you know, it's just, it's telling the story rather than, oh, found footage, so, oh, this could have happened. So, I appreciate that from Insidious. Father. Hmm. It seems even your daddy has abandoned you. How sad. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. Are they making another paranormal activity? Probably. Yeah, they probably are. And I'll probably go watch it, and probably come out around Halloween, because I'm stupid, and I'll go watch it. I just want to see how it ends. Because there's been so fucking many of them. There's like, what, Paranormal... How many are there? Like, five? Right? Like, the one, um, the marked ones or whatever, that's like a... A, a spin-off one, I guess? Or whatever. Um... So, yeah. I just want to see how it ends. And they better end it with this next one, and it better just be good. Even if it's the found footage thing that's overplayed, it better just be really fucking good. I better, I better be, be holding butt cheeks. I better be almost squeezing them butt cheeks in the in the theater, praying to God another jump scare doesn't come out, or I'm gonna be shitting everywhere. And Steven's gonna have to stay after clothes to clean up my shit because I shitted in the chair that I sat in to watch that movie. Beta. It's no use. I'll never be the king my father was. But Simba, that's not what you're supposed to be. You can't be Mufasa. You can only be you. Everybody believes in you as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if anyone's saying they liked your father better, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. I can't. Fine. Let's go, Shara. Yeah. Why stick around if he's not even gonna try? Come on, Goofy. <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. King Simba the Worried by a silly old ghost. Ooh, Simba, the do-nothing king. No! 
crying and stop me. <gasps> you did it! The ghost is gone! We know you can do it! Hooray for Simba! You know, I'm really lucky to have friends who stand by me and help me see clearly. My father wasn't so fortunate. There you go again. I mean, everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Pumba, Timon, Rafiki, Nala. You all want what's best for me. But my father always had Scar lurking behind his back, trying to cut him down. I've got to make the most of my blessings and rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna say it or do it? Wait and see. Simba! <laughs> Simba, come quick! There's a bazillion ghosts of Scar haunting the Pride Lands. Everybody but Nala hightailed it out of there. And now she needs your help. Uh, our little Simba, all grown up and finding his place in the world. Nice try. You're coming too. Hmm. Oh, I could... Shit. Let me add another thing, even though I don't be using them all like that. Scar's an ugly ass nigga. We're here. Where's Simba? <sighs> I've come back, Nala. Get out. Way to go, Simba. Are you with me? Now and forever, Your Majesty. All right. Um, I'm let do from Oz. Oh, dude, I forgot to save. Fuck.